All right, man. It's fourth segment. You ready, Rock? Because uh, I think I smell what the Rock is cooking, and that <laughs> is Spurs cheese, man. Let's go. So, like, I hear about the Spurs, this, he Spurs, that, y como que esto y esta, pero I never hear about the real Spurs cheese. Name it, por favor. So, to put this in the nicest way from Spurs Twitter. Uh-oh. Less, no four-letter words, brother. No why, words. Why, why is Bryn Forbes still smelling the floor, man? This man is a liability. And if you look at that defensive sequence, he was looking the other way. And why does Trey Jones not get no more playing time? Trey Jones was more efficient in, in less playing time than Bryn Forbes, man. What is he on Pop's dog list, man? That's what Spurs Twitter wants to know. And it's always, is Josh Primo coming yet? Or nah, man. That primo question just never goes away. We go to the source, the main source. That is the one. The only, the man who carries the show each and every week. <laughs> Derek Gerber. Yeah, not true, man. but thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I keep telling you guys, I'm big on primo. Uh, as far as Brian Forbes, I have to, I'm a Detroiter. He's a Detroiter. So I want to see him do well, but... I just don't think that he fits in with the Spurs. Uh, he is a defensive liability. And if he's not hitting threes, I mean, what's the purpose of having him on the floor? Uh, defensively, and I hate to say this, but I'm going to say it, he kind of reminds me of Trey Young. He's like a sieve on defense. And so I don't understand why they're playing him so much. Uh, but you look at it, they're over they, – if you look at their backcourt, they're too crowded in the backcourt. And that's one of the problems. They're not uh, – we need more guys in the front court. You look at uh, Drew Eubanks is playing, of course. Uh, Londell will be back or be playing regularly. And you have Pirtle. But other than that, who can you really depend on defensively or to rebound in the front court? And I think that's one of our biggest problems. Uh, if you see when Pirtle's not on the floor, we don't have a rim protector. So I think we need to be focused more on that. But as far as the guards, uh, they've got to make a trade before this deadline. And maybe that's Lonnie Walker. Maybe it's Derek White. Uh, I would not trade Trey Young, that's for sure. I mean, Trey Jones, I'm sorry. So um, you look at it, maybe Lonnie will be gone, maybe Derek White. And they got to get this rookie some playing time, man. I'm a Primo fan. You're Okay, so I would love to see Primo. And I, I why am I always the one that seems to be defending the Austin part? I get why he's in Austin. I mean, you get more minutes. He only got five minutes against Boston. So it's not like he got a whole lot of run. But I know you're always telling me that he doesn't. He needs to learn with the NBA. You're always telling me that. Five minutes at a time, my man. He's playing NBA minutes. Um, you can't get that playing in the G League. And I think they're doing it as well, having him around more consistently so he can learn the ins and outs of the NBA. Pop knows he has a winner. This young man can play basketball. I'm telling you now, his ceiling is very high. And I would want him to be around the guys so how they so he can see how they do things on a daily basis, seven days a week, how you how you can duck yourself as a pro. And that's something that you can't learn in the G League. So I'm I'm big on Primo. I hope they figure out this backcourt rotation. But I say that he needs to play. If then it's not like the Spurs are going to win fifty games this year. So get the young man ready so when you bring in some future players, he'll be ready to contribute immediately. Yeah, speaking of that backcourt, why do you feel like Trey Jones wasn't given the backup guard point guard position coming off that explosive summer league you had? I think the injury held him back. Um, it, you know, sometimes – and then you have to build up – you know, Pop is an old-school guy. Why they don't play him more, Trey Jones, I don't understand it because I'm a big fan of him and his brother, to be honest. And I thought when he came here uh, that he would be that second guard, probably backing up DeJounte Murray. But I guess they wanted, for some reason, try DeJounte and Derek White together. But I'm a, I th- I'm a Trey Jones fan as well, and he plays on both ends of the floor. So I'm hoping he gets more minutes as the season progresses. I like Trey Jones. I like him a lot. Don't, don't tell anybody. He's from Duke, and you know how I feel about Duke players. Ponchero. <laughs> stop, stop, stop. Cut that mic. Stop, stop, stop. If, I, if Bonchero is a spur, I will not complain but I do like Trey Jones. I don't. Okay, before we go to commercial, does it make a guy like Derek White expendable? Expe- yes. 
because of Trey Jones, or are they showcasing Trey Jones as part of a deal? I, I'm hoping they're not showcasing Trey Jones. Trey Jones needs to stay here and be a part of the Spurs. Uh, him and Primo make a good combination. I'm looking at the, the, the two of them and DeJounte. So wow. I say hopefully they're not moving Trey Jones. Um, a lot of people are going to be sad because I know they've taken to Lonnie in the community, kind of like they did with uh, Patty Mills. But I see Lonnie making a move, uh, leaving here, and I see Derek White uh, leaving here before the trade deadline. Real quick, Rocky, what do you think? Primo going to get more run at the end of the year? End of the year, man. End of the year. You're not going to see it anytime soon, unfortunately. 